Hey guys, how's it going? Cordoman here. In today's video, I want to talk about whether it's still safe to ride a bike or not. So if you're from around this area, you probably heard of the seven motorcyclists that were killed in New Hampshire uh, last week. And that really got me to thinking, you know, there's been other incidents actually in my town where motorcyclists have been killed. And why is it increased or has it increased? And first, I'm going to apologize for the traffic. Um, I'm on a back road, but it's a nice area. So I figured why not shoot a video? Anyways, the whole point is, you know, statistically, if you look at it, maybe they haven't been dying as often, but it's become more, uh, it's become more prominent. And why is that? So believe it or not, one of the number one reasons that this is happening is because of distracted driving. And you can hear from the cars behind me, you know, they're just driving along. But if you look, people are texting, they're eating, they're, I've seen people on laptops going down the highway. And you know, we're all guilty of maybe looking at our phone at one time, but unfortunately when you're a motorcyclist, you die. And, and I don't mean if you're texting while riding, if you can actually text while ride, then that's actually pretty amazing, but don't do that either. You know, so riding a motorcycle is fun, but at the end of the day, if it's dangerous, you're not gonna do it anymore. This is actually the third time that I've taken this bike out. Nice car. This is actually only the third time that I've taken this bike out. And part of the reason is because it's simply just more dangerous. Now, of course, you as a rider, you have to be vigilant. You have to look around. You have to see if a car is pulling out. You have to see if a car is moving lanes and not signaling. You know, we all see it. But if you're driving in a car, you need to also look out for motorcycles because we're smaller. We can, you know, fit between cars. We can fit between trucks. You know, you may see one pull out and not even notice it. You know, and as cool as these machines are, they don't have the greatest brakes. You know, I mean, I can stop, but obviously not as fast as a car could. So more than likely, I'm going to end up on your hood and my wife's going to be pretty pissed off at you. And probably me for riding because, you know what, I know she's watching this and I know she doesn't like the bike but I know that she respects me enough to let me enjoy it and just be safe. So what are some things as riders that we can do to be safe ourselves, right? Because we have to take some responsibility for the road. Well, one of the things we can do is wear the proper gear. Now, I'm not gonna make a whole video on this. There's millions of videos and there's no point, but obviously your bare essentials are a helmet, uh, a jacket, which I have underneath my backpack. And then of course, riding gloves, which aren't necessary, but certainly help if you get hit with rocks. In addition to that, if you see a car starting to pull out, wait, it's not worth it. They probably are gonna pull out, they're not gonna see you and you end up getting hit. You know, at the end of the day, riding is a ton of fun, but of course it is a dangerous activity and much like anything else. The only difference is, you know, uh, in the case of going back to the New Hampshire incident, which for my people or throughout the country aren't close to me, know that, or excuse me, do not know about this or may not know about this. A young driver actually crossed the center line in a work truck and took out seven motorcyclists in one shot who happened to all be Marines and they were just on a um a charity run of some kind i don't know the details on the actual run but you know unfortunately seven families are now without brothers fathers cousins uncles you know what i mean it's it's obvious it, you know of course it's a tragedy and it's completely avoidable because there's really no reason that a vehicle should ever cross the center line and you know i'm not sure if he was distracted or he was under the influence uh there's been numerous reports of course it's all new right now but there's been numerous reports that he may have been under the influence and he has actually been pulled over before uh and had numerous ouis so you know to that company i say why the hell didn't you fire him let's just take a quick pause for the senior you know i live in a pretty urban area but there's some roads that bring you to some nice areas around and you know this one's actually only about 15 minutes from my house it has a nice winding road which you can see cars going by and of course, it's tons of fun for the bike. So honestly, at the end of the day, um, I made this video for people that aren't really aware of the increase in motorcycle fatalities, as well as just kind of like a PSA, you know, pay attention. Uh, you know, like you'll see in this video here, I shot while I was driving, which I know the irony of that. So please leave your comments. N don't, actually don't leave your comments. Please forget the comments. Uh, but I took this video of a car that was completely distracted. After I stopped filming, I was able to get up close to him and he was actually doing something on, like, on a laptop or some sort of a tablet and i figured he was under the influence but it was like 10 a.m come to find out he's probably just late for a meeting and probably reading his meeting notes but you know in case of in the case of a motorcycle if he were to cross that line he would end up killing somebody so i'll leave this video by saying definitely be safe you know ride safe if you are if you're in a car you know check what luck you know look twice for motorcycles you heard the old saying you see the bumper stickers actually do it uh, and for those that have children, teach them that, you know, these aren't necessarily dangerous machines. You can have a lot of fun on it. You just have to be aware 
and for those that have uh, teens that are just starting to ride or excuse me just starting to drive you know definitely just have them look out for motorcycles and we can all be safe ride on and get to our final destination which more than likely is probably food or our house so as always appreciate you guys checking out this video please subscribe if you're new here like this video comment if you have any questions and i'll catch you guys in the next one